This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 244. Are you collecting a pile of underpants? By Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm your host and personal narrator, Dr. Neil. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to another episode of Optimal Health Daily, the podcast where I read blogs to you just like an audiobook every weekday. And if you didn't know already, this is one of five podcasts where we read blogs to you. There's Optimal Living Daily, where my brother reads to you posts about personal development while wearing his elf shirt, Optimal Finance Daily, which has some great tips to get out of debt and make more money, Optimal Startup Daily for entrepreneurs, freelancers, and managers, and our newest, Optimal Living Daily Relationships, covering all things relationships. Definitely check those podcasts out if you like the format of this show. You can find all of them in the same place you're hearing this podcast. Now, I'm sure the title of today's post is Peaking Your Curiosity, so let's jump right in and hear this post from Steve as we optimize your life. Are You Collecting a Pile of Underpants? by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Today, I wanna talk about a very serious subject, underpants. A pile of underpants, to be specific. These underpants will help you achieve success in every facet of your life, from looking better, to living better, eating better, to feeling better, and even starting your own company. I guarantee that today's post will be so ridiculous that you'll never forget it. Now, I'll also need some help from a few friends to get my point across. I want you to meet the underpants gnomes. Who the hell are the underpants gnomes? Let me tell you the tale of the underpants gnomes. In the town of South Park, Colorado, underpants gnomes sneak into people's houses during the middle of the night and steal their underpants. They even have a theme song that they sing while working, sort of like the seven dwarves, but with more underpants. Something like, gotta go to work, 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 we won't stop till we have underpants. Can you see where I'm going with this yet? I hope not, because if so, you're most likely messed up in the head. Don't you worry that pretty little head of yours though. I promise this will all make sense by the end and you'll go, ah, you're too smart and too good looking and modest. Or you'll stop listening immediately and decide that the author belongs in the nuthouse. Either way, let this one play out before making your decision. The secret lies in the gnome's complete lack of a business plan. You see, they're collecting underpants to build a big business, apparently. The Gnome's Business Plan When the gnomes are questioned why they collect underpants, they say, quote, collecting underpants is just phase one, end quote. However, when asked about phase two, not a single gnome knows. Following their line of logic, you'll see that phase three is, quote, profit, which is awesome, but they have no clue how to get there. This means that these gnomes spend all day and all night collecting underpants without having any clue how to move on to phase two or phase three. Your phase one. Whether you realize it or not, you probably spend most of your day collecting underpants, reading about exercise and diet and fitness and health, learning everything you know about how to do a push-up, how to build a workout, how to learn parkour, and more or reading about how to build an online business, researching the four-hour work week, or even paying big bucks to learn from other entrepreneurs, or reading every personal finance book and blog to learn how to get out of debt. Welcome to phase one. This is your pile of underpants. Phase three is what you hope to accomplish after starting to build your pile, your level 50, if you will. Which brings me to the point of today's post. Successful people dominate phase two. You could spend all day, every day, learning and collecting and researching. In fact, you could be the best information gatherer in the entire world. You know what that will get you? A big pile of underpants. Phase two is figuring out what to do with that knowledge to get to, quote, profit or health or love. People who dominate phase two take action. People who dominate phase two understand that trying and failing and learning from previous mistakes is so much more valuable than spending more time researching without attempting anything. Here's my advice. One, learn how to eat right and then try to cook a healthy meal tonight. Two, learn about personal finance and start paying down your debt, even if you can only spare $5, tonight. Three, learn how to build confidence and then go up and talk to the next cute person you see immediately. Four, learn how to speak a new language 
and then find somebody on Skype who speaks it fluently and start speaking from day one. Five, spend all day researching how to build something, then try to make it today, even if it turns out crappy. I get a few emails every day from people who say something like, quote, I've done the research, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I don't have the motivation to start. Can you give that to me? Unfortunately, I can't. Phase two and what you do with your pile of underpants has to come from you. The desire to change, to live better, look better, feel better, and then the guts to try things out and see what works. Phase two is the ability to fail repeatedly and continue to attempt new things. Success in phase three comes when you learn to take things you've learned and researched and successfully put them into practice. People ask me how I started Nerd Fitness and built a business around it. Simple, I started. I read the four-hour work week. I read 279 days to overnight success and then just started writing. Five articles a week for nine months until I discovered what worked and what didn't. And then cranked out two 2,500 to 5,000 word articles a week every week for the past two and a half years. I didn't spend money on blogging classes, internet marketing books, SEO strategy, or writing courses. That's a lot of underpants. I started writing crappy articles that got less and less crappy, put my focus on helping people and learning how to make more of an impact with my writing, and years later, here I am. Ask Jim of Beast Skills how he became a gymnastics guru. He taught himself. He read books and watched videos, watched other people doing these things, and then he went out and did it. He probably fell, busted up his body repeatedly, but he got better and better. And now he teaches people this stuff for a living. What's the secret? Spend 10% of your effort on phase one and 90% on phase two trying new stuff. For example, pick up some weights and try to strength train. Go into your gym, put the bar across your shoulders and attempt your first squat. Hint, go deep. Ask somebody out and get shot down. Build a business that sucks. Start a crappy blog. Why? Because you're actually doing something. Learn from the gnome's mistake. Don't get stuck with a pile of underpants. Dominate phase two and make profit. You just listened to the post titled, Are You Collecting a Pile of Underpants? by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Okay, so that was probably the most creative post I've ever read. I think this quote that I'm about to share with you sums up Steve's perspective perfectly. Quote, knowledge isn't power until it is applied. Dale Carnegie. So you all know I'm all about collecting more information and gaining that knowledge. That's why I'm an educator. That's why I have this podcast, is to educate you all. But Steve's right. If you don't actually apply what I'm talking about or what we're telling you, then this is useless. So I truly hope that when you listen to these shows, yes, you get that knowledge. Remember, I want this to be a place of true information, to bust through some of those myths that you've been hearing and to share with you what real data is showing to be true. But if you don't actually apply some of these concepts to your life, then you are just collecting knowledge. So I hope that not only does this podcast, does this show share this knowledge with you, but it inspires you. It inspires you to take action feel motivated, and feel as though you can truly do what we're talking about, that you can actually go out there and have the courage to do what we talk about. Now, just as a reminder, if you like the format of this show, check out Optimal Living Daily to learn more about habit building, minimalism, mindfulness, productivity, and lots more, which is hosted by my brother. Now, Optimal Finance Daily allows you to learn more about personal money management in non-technical terms. And then we have Optimal Startup Daily for all things entrepreneurship and business. And finally, our newest family member, Optimal Living Daily Relationships for some great dating, marriage, and parenting advice. Subscribing to those shows helps this one too. So it's a great way to show your support. All right, that'll do it for Thursday's episode. Thank you so much for listening and being a subscriber of the show. I'll be answering one of your questions tomorrow on the Friday Q&A episode. So definitely come back and listen to that where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, 
but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.